There we go. What people do when they come to the OC, or any truck stop at that, and they'll give their diary of what's been going on with their life. Where they've been going. How they got there. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not sitting there complaining about it, but I'm just telling you just uh Yeah. Anyways, how's it going everybody? I'm at the Dallas OC. Uh here at the Schneider Dallas Operating Center. And um my truck's in the shop. I got here about uh, about an hour ago from the house, and uh, <clears throat> they're replacing the radiator on it. Now, I'm not a mechanic, and this is probably evidence that I shouldn't be owning any kind of trucks, but what does the radiator have to do with uh, with the exhaust. Anybody know? That's all I know. That's going on YouTube. That question right there. Um, because obviously I don't know. But uh, so that's what I'm waiting on. They called yesterday about. Actually, I turned in the truck on Thursday. Friday morning, they had a, uh, doing the oil change, PM, all that. And I had a write-up on it. This is part of that write-up. It was the exhaust system, some lights flashing up, you know, the engine wanting to die going down the road. So, so what I did is, uh, just took me a three-day weekend almost turned into a four day weekend. Actually, if you think about it, it was four days. I mean, four 24 hour periods. So, uh, that was kind of nice, but kind of sucks too, because I will pay you this loss of, loss of work. But, you know, I ain't gonna complain with four days, really. I mean, I went fishing. But anyways, um, what, that write up, was it about the exhaust? And I called yesterday, uh, about five o'clock, six o'clock, or something like that. And they said that uh, they're waiting on the radiator to get here, and uh, should get here by the end of the business day. So I came up here at the end of the day, pretty much about you know about an hour ago, it's about three thirty, and. Um, went in there and they said, we got to get another f four or five hours to go. So I'll be here for a little while. About seven or eight. And, and I, I really don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. But, um, anyways, that's that's how it is here. The Snyder OC. Um, before I pressed record here, I kind of moved the camera, moved the computer, where it's kind of facing over there and when I want to go use the bathroom and everything so why is that flashing am I getting yeah I'm getting modulation yeah All right. for some reason it's flashing I don't know why you know why that's flashing that see if you press that button right there turns off and now it turns back on. Now I got my volume to where I could turn me down in my ears. See? You can hear me but I can't hear me. But I like having the talk back function. So I turned it up that way I can hear myself. And I can pretty much hear what you can hear in the background. So So that's that's how it's going. That's 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 what I've got going on here. 
like I said, exciting, exciting, right? But, um, anyways, it's, uh, I've got my light jacket on, but it's like 65 degrees outside. It's not that, not that bad, but I figured if I'm going to be in here about four or five hours, once I go back outside, it may be a little bit of crisp outside, so have a little light jacket on and um, fixing a here in about an hour or so I'm gonna get me a little, a little bite to eat, not much. I had a uh, chicken express on the way up here <laughs> and guess what I had? I had sweet tea and biscuits with chicken but I ordered, ordered two extra biscuits and I had my sweet tea Country boy can't survive, you know. I like the sweet tea. That, as a matter of fact, the whole weekend, the whole four days, I probably had two Dr. Peppers out of the whole thing. So, did pretty good, actually. So, not that bad at all. So, while I have this on record, the recorded version is going to YouTube. I am going to turn this thing around. That way you can kind of look and see what's going on here and everything. Hope you can tell. Now, uh, I bet someone will probably be sitting here looking at me, thinking, why has he got his computer facing towards the other direction? Because I don't have a monitor up or, you know, so they don't even know. They just think I'm some weirdo. Of course, that'd be correct. You know. Anyways, this is the cafeteria. That's where we all eat. This is pretty much where you meet all the drivers at. And everything. Yes, really exciting, ain't it? I think what I'm going to do here in a few minutes is um, turn on uh, some YouTube or something, or Netflix, or some kind of something to keep myself entertained. Because uh, it's a little boring. Most of the other drivers that I work with are working. They're not here. Their trucks are not in the shop. Like mine is in the shop. I, I, what I mean by drivers, I mean Masonite. Masonite drivers. A lot of these system drivers here don't really have anything in common with. They're wanting to talk about what they've done over the last week. Then it gets quiet. You know, anyways, so I didn't really, not really, you know, unless they want to talk about something else, because some of the system drivers just want to tell you their whole life story about how they love their dispatcher, and how they told the DOT officer, you know, told the DOT officer where they can go. I can't make up stories like that. As hard as I try, I can't do it. So, so, those are the system drivers will sit in their little clicks but once some of the mason not dedicated come in here and occasionally we'll see some uh... then we'll get up in here and talk and uh... solve the world's issues because after all that's what we do that's what truck drivers do some of y'all they watch these videos um, comment well, some of the drivers that are not drivers, that are looking into the drivers, don't know the camaraderie. Did I say that right? Camaraderie of being a driver. Drivers tend to make up stories. They, they, they solve the world's issues, they tell a bunch of lies, and they complain. That's just what happens. 
Every driver complains about something. And um, that's just part of it. CDL's called a complainer's driver's license. That was an old saying. I'm sure it's still an old saying. Uh, I don't know. But um, at least back in the day, that was the thing, you know. When I, before I was a driver, I worked in a distribution warehouse. And I was one of the bosses there. And so I had a little office there. An office was shared with a couple of, you know, a few others. But uh, part of that office is, you know, the, where the shipping clerk worked. And, um, and a shipping clerk would have the drivers come up to the window and everything. And, and uh, we had a real nice, sweet lady that was working, sh you know, the shipping clerk and everything, real talkative and friendly. And those drivers would come up and just start flirting and everything. But I would get up there and uh, talk with those drivers. Uh, as well, just hearing the drivers how they talk and how they talk with each other. That's what. Um, that's why I was sitting there thinking, well, it's pretty cool. Now you know to be able to talk to a complete stranger like that, you know. But um, anyway, so that's uh, that's the camaraderie that you get. Is that two strangers? two different walks of life never seen each other before ever just start talking like nothing and um, which is cool that's that's a cool deal nothing wrong with that at all but um, one thing that um, what was I going to say Oh, uh, but I mean, you know, just the whole. Ah, uh, I don't know this. I've just lost. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say, actually. But, you know, like I said, strangers come up and they tell you their life story. You know, this is what I've been doing. This is where I'm going to go. This is what I'm going to do. You know. Can you tell I'm bored? I'm very bored. So, but I've got my boredom to share with you and YouTube. Like I said, if you just joined, I am at the Schneider OC cafeteria and I'm watching drivers. Let's see. Got one driver sitting there eating. One driver playing. I'm like, I guess that's a iPad or something. Uh, looks like some drivers up there at the counter asking for some paperwork or something. And there's a mechanic over there at the cafeteria wanting to order something. There's some guys on the computers over there behind me. I don't know if you can tell. By the way, uh, see the little dark thing right, oh, right there. That uh, is a TV room. There's some drivers in there watching TV. It's dark and everything. And uh, usually what it is is drivers be putting on uh, like TNT or USA. And it's like Law and Order and some crap like that. Real boring stuff. I don't really care for those type of shows. So... I'll, uh, I'll go peek in there and see what they're watching and if it's nothing I care about watching I just come in here and open up the old laptop and uh, annoy the crap out of you so anyways that's it for the recorded version looks like I'm not getting any reaction from uh, any uh, chat or anything a lot of times there's a lot of chat going on but uh I guess people's uh, fingers are frozen. That's alright though. Um, so I'm going to stop the recorded version. I'm going to leave on the broadcast. So, for the YouTubers out there, 73.